Hello friends and family and welcome to the Tuesday, August 4th edition of the Crippling Anxiety Meditation Conversation. I actually spent last week not meditating. Um, it wasn't entirely intentional. Um, it was uh, largely due to a feeling of being somewhat overwhelmed and like I needed more time. And it ended up becoming a bit of an experiment um, that I ran on myself where I attempted to see how I felt every day with an additional one or two hours a day um, for doing my work and um, what the consequences were of not meditating for that period of time. And what I found was not particularly surprising but um, it was a helpful assertion, reassertion, <laughs> that I um, am better off meditating uh, most days um, in that uh, whatever negative emotional states I found myself in over the course of the last week, they would sort of compound themselves. So if I was feeling unproductive, then I would feel bad about myself for feeling unproductive and being unproductive. And then I would sort of um, end up uh, feeling like I wasn't accomplishing enough, so I'd feel sad and then I would um, not be as effective when I actually was trying to do the work um, that I thought I was giving myself an extra hour or two per day for. And what I found over the course of the week was that day by day, I was really losing track of the time uh, across the course of the entire day. And that interestingly enough, taking that hour or two hours every day to sit and be very quiet and to invest energy feeling uh, sensation in the body or the breath um, was really valuable, is really valuable. And that um, it was entirely possible for me to continue feeling subtler sensations throughout the course of the day, even if I wasn't meditating. But what becomes difficult is remaining equanimous with those sensations. So if you feel frustrated or you feel annoyed or you feel angry or you feel sad, um, what meditation teaches you is to feel those things in yourself. They kind of uh, emerge as gross reified emotions. We all know that. Um, but they also emerge as a sensation in the body somewhere or, or everywhere. And that's much, um, much more salient uh, for a person who's been meditating for some time. And the utility of meditating with this is to know that it's there, first of all, that there are all sorts of things happening in your body which correspond very directly to your emotional state, um, but then not to react to them. So if you're feeling upset and there's a lot of heat in the body, um, just to see, oh, okay, there's heat and it's disappearing, it's changing on its own into something else and eventually subsiding. And without sitting and meditating for an hour or two hours, it becomes very difficult to not react to those things. So you can notice, oh, okay, my body is full of heat. Clearly I'm irritated, even if I'm not externally visibly irritated. Um, but even if you tell yourself, okay, just watch the heat, don't react to the heat, um, what you'll find is that you or I uh, certainly end up saying something out of irritation or behaving in an irritated way because we're not that much in control of our own behavior. 
Um, there's a lot which we're doing on impulse, out of habit, out of routine. And this is really the value of meditation. Um, I don't necessarily recommend this sort of uh, experiment for everyone. Um, the valuable experiment is often in the other direction, where you haven't been meditating and you try meditating for a whole week or for two whole weeks every day and see what happens at the end of those two weeks. Um, similar for exercise. So I'm going to try to start running. Well, okay, so run every day for two weeks. And at the end of two weeks, how do you feel? Um, honestly, because you don't know before you've actually tried. Um, and this sort of experiment can be valuable, but I don't intend to run it again. Um, it is interesting to note that these same characteristics are there in Anapana. So um, if you're paying attention to the breath and you become very aware of the breath, you will notice that if you're getting upset, if you're getting irritated, that the breath has an irregularity to it. Um, often I find that more difficult to observe in terms of its subtlety than the sensations in the body. Um, but uh, it is there, and it's certainly something that can be observed. Um, I think uh, that a number of people have um, come to these videos over time uh, and seen some and not seen others, so I will put up the link to the video explaining how to install the Dhamma.org app and to download the Anapan meditation instructions if you're interested in doing that. Um, I still strongly recommend that you meditate Anapan um, for 10 minutes twice a day. That's still the intention of these videos to encourage you to do that. Um, it would be a little entertaining, hopefully. Um, so that will go up and I hope that uh, otherwise you are taking care of yourselves and taking care of your family and we will see you back here tomorrow. Goodbye.